Okay, guys, welcome back to the last day of Bible for the week. We've been talking about the Easter story. And now today we get to the interesting part where we talk about um, Jesus' crucifixion. Okay? So, Jesus was arrested. Okay? Now, Jesus never sinned. He was perfect. He never did anything to deserve the punishment he was about to get. Yet, Jesus was willing to take the punishment for sinful people rightly deserved because of his great love for all the people. Okay? So, he loved us. And he was willing to take our sin away from us and get arrested and hung on the cross for something that he didn't do. Okay? The Jewish leaders were very angry with Jesus because more and more people were starting to follow Jesus and listen to him instead of them. The Jewish leaders refused to realize that Jesus was the Messiah and they looked for a way to put Jesus to death. Okay. Jesus' disciples treated Jesus unkindly too. They all ran off when Jesus was arrested. So none of his disciples stayed with Jesus because... They were scared and they were afraid. And even though they knew that Jesus was the Messiah, they were afraid to admit it. Okay. So Jesus was beaten and they made him carry a cross, okay? All the way through the village where people were. He had to carry his cross on his back. Jesus suffering and the crucifixion, which means death by being hung on a cross. That's what it means to be crucified. Um, that was all part of God's plan for salvation. So they hung Jesus to the cross and killed him. And Jesus just took the pain and he could have stopped them, but he didn't because he knew that this was something he had to do in order to be with us in eternal life. And just even like saying this and thinking about this, it's so crazy to me that somebody would choose us even though we don't deserve him. We did nothing to deserve to be in heaven. We were born sinners. We sin against God every day. Um, but he still is willing to accept us into heaven. So to me, that's just so crazy. So Jesus knew that he would rise again. But that does not mean that he did not feel the terrible pain and separation that he would have to go through to pay for the sins of the whole world. He was willing to go through all of that out of love for everybody. Jesus' death on the cross paid for the sins of all the people who have ever lived. People who accept Jesus as Savior have forgiveness of their sins and choose to follow Jesus and have that relationship with Jesus will have everlasting life in heaven. So Jesus wanted the Jewish leaders to be put to death. Sorry, the Jewish leaders wanted Jesus to be put to death because more and more people were starting to follow Jesus and that was making them mad. How did the leaders know where to find and arrest Jesus? Judas led them to Jesus. Did Jesus want to suffer and die? No, he didn't want to die, but he was willing to die to follow his father's will. What did Jesus' death on the cross provide for you and me and others? Think about it for a second. Jesus' death paid for all, paid for the sins of all the people for all time so that they could receive forgiveness of sins and be brought, brought back into a loving relationship with God. So when we sin, we put up a wall between us and Jesus, okay? And we sin every day. So by Jesus dying on the cross, allowed that wall to break down and for us to have that eternal life with him, okay? And we just need to, it's more than just a prayer. It's more than just saying, dear Jesus, come into my heart. And then that's it. Because that is not why Jesus died on the cross. The prayer is supposed to represent the life we're supposed to live with Jesus. So when we pray that prayer, we are acknowledging 
that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And then after we pray that prayer, that doesn't mean that like, okay, we're good. We're going to heaven. Life is great. Let me do whatever I want. No, we need to have that relationship with Jesus and communicate with him in prayer. And Jesus wants to get to know us and we need to get to know him. Okay. So once we pray that prayer, Jesus is coming into our hearts and then we need to spend the rest of our life building that relationship with Jesus and telling other people about Jesus because that's the whole reason why he died for us. Okay. You guys are going to do page 115 in your Bible workbooks. It looks like this. And you are basically, there's three pictures and then there's three words, three paragraphs, and you're going to match the picture to the words. So the first one says, Jesus was arrested and taken away. When one of his disciples cut off the ear of the highest priest's servant, Jesus healed the man. And you're going to write the letter of the picture to the correct box. Okay, you'll see what I mean when you go to page 115, okay? Um, the last thing on the page, it says write one or two sentences telling how you can show your love for others today. So think about how you can be loving, whether it's to your mom, your dad, brother, sister. Um, just think of some ways that you guys can be loving, okay? So you're going to do page 115 on your own, and then we'll talk more about this next week. Bye.